thanks for joining me again. So I've kind of been on a little series, I guess you could say. Um, the first one I did using alternating black and then every single one of the pearls colors that I had. And then after that, I did one that I did the iridescence that I had. So the pearls, I had 27 colors. The iridescence, I had 10 colors. And I decided that I wanted to do the same thing using all of my extreme glitters. So that's what I'm going to do on this one. I'm not going to do them later with all of my metallics because I have way too many metallic colors. But my extreme glitters, I have 4, 8, 12, 13, if you consider the color shift as one. And it kind of is, so it's going in there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm using an 11 by 14 canvas by Artist Loft. So I'm going to scoot that out of the way so that I can have room for my cup. And the color that I'm going to be going between each of these, I think it'll still work really good having a black. So I'm using Satin Black again by Delta Ceram Coat. I really liked the way that this one looked in the last one I did. So that's what I'm going to do again. And... I will tell you what the colors are as I'm adding them to the cup. I'm using a fancy cup. It is actually from either laundry detergent or fabric softener. I don't remember which. Um, make sure that if you're going to be using cups that you store them either in a closed uh, bag or something or store them upside down because you don't want them to get full of dust and things like that and then get that in your painting. All right, first one is Extreme Glitter Jelly Bean Pink by Folk Arts. So I just put enough in to cover the bottom of the cup. I'm not sure if I should add more or not. I guess if it doesn't fill up the cup full enough, I'll just make two layers of everything, but I think it'll be all right. Okay, then Extreme Glitter Red by Folk Art. I think all of the Extreme Glitters are actually Folk Art. And then Extreme Glitter Champagne by Folk Art. Okay. 
and then Extreme Glitter Gold by Folk Art. Extreme Glitter Emerald by Folk Art. Extreme Glitter Sea Sparkle by Folk Art. Extreme Glitter Turquoise by Folk Art. And since this one is in a clear cup, you'll actually be able to see what it looks like better. Eh. Guess I'm doing pretty good. My cup is about half full and I'm about half through with the colors, so. Yeah, it should turn out good. All right, Extreme Glitter Robin's Egg Blue by Folk Art. I hope I haven't been putting too much black in here. I'm starting to see some cells coming up already. Extreme Glitter Purple by Folk Art. Ah. Extreme Glitter Silver by Folk Art. I must not be adding nearly as much of these other colors as I was of the first ones. Oh dear. Extreme Glitter Black by Folk Art. Color Shift Dragonfly Glaze by Folk Art it has this on it. It's actually three different colors that it turns into. So hopefully you'll really be able to see that. I'm going to add a little extra of that. And Extreme Glitter Hologram by Folk Art. They look really pretty in the cup. A little bit more black. All right, I'm gonna get these out of the way real quick. Okay, 
here's what they look like in the cup. It looks so pretty. All right, here we go. Hopefully this is enough paint. I think on the other ones, I got a little bit um, too much in a hurry to pull the cup off, which I mean, it was okay too, but I really wasn't getting much of the very first color that was laid down. So I'm waiting just a little bit more to see if maybe that'll help bring it down some. All right, here we go. Let's watch the beauty that happens. Nice. Just want to get some in the corners. Gonna get a little more of this out of here. Ah, look at that. Okay. Now, all right. This time I'm going to go get some gloves. I'm tired of my fingers being all black. Whoa, there's a lot of pretty cells that are already happening. That's exciting. I think this cup probably needed to be more full. Um, for this size of canvas, it doesn't look like there's going to be enough to actually go all the way out. So I might have to encourage it a little bit. Of course, my bubbles. You have to be careful, especially since there's dry canvas around. You don't want to burn your canvas. So I'm going to scrape out what's left in the cup. Just so there's a little more something for it to scoot over. Alright. Now I'm going to go down the very corner because I want to make sure the corners are covered really nicely. That is pretty. Okay, so I really don't want to lose a lot of this. So I think I'm going to grab my black and add just a little bit of black around the outsides. I really did need more paint for this size of canvas but I was not really sure how much I would need. Yeah, I want a little more around that. When your paint is goes over dry canvas, it rolls over onto itself, and so you'll lose all of this stuff that's on the outside edges. But if it has something that's beside it, then it'll glide over it more. And I'm wanting it to glide more than I am for it to lose the stuff that's on it. Okay. Now, since I add more this way, I'm going to start coming this way first, and then I'll come back this way afterwards. Okay. Now, see how it's going slower there? It's because I didn't have as much paint there for it to go over. Now, when it gets to that point, if you're losing a lot more you want it to lose, just tap that so it'll help bring it down over the edge. And then you won't lose as much. Because see, then it's got something to roll over onto. So, okay, there we go. Ooh, I like that. 
Okay, and then I'm going to kind of bring that back to the center a little bit if I can. Wow, this is really pretty. All right. And then always make sure that your corners are still good. Make sure you don't see any white at the bottom part of your canvas. All right, it all looks covered good. I'm gonna clean up my hands real quick. I noticed there's a couple things in here that need to be pulled out. There's at least one right there. So I'm gonna take care of that and then I'll bring you in for a close up. Oh wow, this is so sparkly. Look at all of that. It is absolutely gorgeous. Really been having fun doing these with the fancy colors. I like that little part right there. <laughs> it's really neat. This has been different for me because the other flip cups besides these three that I just did have all been from reclaimed paint. And so I haven't had any where I have deliberately laid colors in there. Now see, this is part of that black that I laid down because I didn't have enough. But I actually kind of like having that little strip that's like that, so I think it's neat. And there's cells in here. I like all of the flow and movement that it's got. See those cells? They're so pretty. Okay, I'm going to shut off the overheads and we'll look at it with just the flash on. Wow, that's really neat. I don't know, like you see the purple? And then you don't see the purple. It just kind of disappears. I'm not sure if part of that is the color shift. Or if it just ends up being the angle of the light hitting it. This is so pretty. Some of this, there's a lot more color in it than when it's showing up just because of the angle that I'm getting, I guess. I'd love to hear what you think about this. Let me know in the comments. This is available for purchase. If you're interested, reach out to me at TammyVonArt at gmail.com. It would really help me out if you would like to hit the like button. Helps my videos spread to more people. 
If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to become one of my newest subscribers, and I thank you for doing so. And thank you for all of my current subscribers. Thank you for all of your support. All right. One last good look at it. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later. Bye, and God bless. Hey, y'all. Just wanted to show you the dried results of this painting. Look how much it shines. Look at all that shimmer that's in this. Yeah, it's so pretty. Just imagine what it's going to look like once it gets a coat of resin on it. It's got all these pretty colors hiding in there, just popping up here and there and all over. That to me looks like a bear. <laughs> all right, well, this painting is for sale. If you're interested in purchasing it, reach out to me at TammyVonArt at gmail.com. All right, that's all for now. Catch you later. Bye, and have a blessed day. God bless.